Hello, this is Glowing, and welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 3 in Kappa Mode. And what I am doing is I am just building a platform out here, and this is going to be for a mob farm, so that I can get this quest here done, which is kill a zombie, a skeleton, a creeper, and an ancient golem. All of those spawn in a mob farm, so I'm just gonna make a simple one to start with. Um, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that enough? I might go two more. And then I'll expand this out by five more on each side. Okay, so I want three, one, and then this. I should probably turn this on. And then I need to light it up a little bit so that nothing actually spawns white. Did I do that wrong? Yes, I did. Of course I did. Okay. Let me just remove this. Actually, I can do a bit of that. That works very well. If I... I've set the excavate shape to a hockey, so if I... I'll, qu I'll quickly show you. Controls, category, um, or excavator. I don't know actually why it goes off the screen like this. It's um, I, I, so, something wrong. But um, shape toggle edit. I've set it to number pad 7. So if I press that button, you can see that it toggles. I can also press control to edit them, so I can say this one is a, um, a t just anything, that one, and I can make it do that shape there, so then I can toggle to th this one, but at the moment it's fine just like this with that. So let's toggle to that and just toggle to none for now because it's not very useful right now. Okay, um, something I did do. I put the RAK in a drawer here. And, um, oh great. Yeah, I, 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 no. Okay, good. That's gone. Okay, um, let me get some of this and craft some more torches so that I can actually light this up. As I said before, I was rudely interrupted. I have crafted another emerald furnace, which means this is going twice as fast. I've got one single input chest going into these, it's splitting it up, and into the output chest. So this is getting it twice as fast. Um, the next tier is emerald- is- no, not emeralds, this is emeralds. The next tier is enderpearls, which I'm working on right now, and that is something that the mob farm will be able to produce for me. Um, let me craft some slabs, just like this. I think I- no, nah, I think that'll be fine. And what I usually do... Is I usually come one around the outside, like that. I also... Um, let's see. Place that one up. And then I want to... Now I want slabs all the way around here, so pretty much exactly the same. Um, let's jump up here, and then a ring of cobble, and just jump up, build that one higher. And finally I want to come over here, place down slabs just along here, there and there. And I'm out of slabs. Okay, for now I'm just gonna put torches up there. Jump down here and this should be spawnable. Great. 
And I'm just gonna leave that for a bit, come back every now and then, and whack the monsters. So, last episode, we left off at, um, I am Grout thing, so I need the advanced tinkers stuff. So you can see, um, I sort of got rid of the melter here, and I made a hole here. This is for the smeltery. So if I come over here, I have, um, said drains, I have six of those. Um, for now I have one casting basin, one casting table. I'm um, using the melter, well, yeah, those are the things before, because it's kappa mode. A smeltery controller, a tank, um, two sad faucets, and a bunch of sad bricks. So, what I can do with all of that, I can get a quest complete, but what I can also do is make a smeltery, so I usually put in the three drains either side. Um, one side is for blocks with the faucet there. The other side is for, like, the casting table with stuff there. Block, 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 and tank. So this is now complete. Um, just put a torch down somewhere for now because mobs can actually spawn in there. And then just fill that up with cobble. And then the last thing that I need to do is get a bucket, which means I need some clay. I'm just going to make a few buckets because I will need them. Let's make five buckets. Okay, and I want to put four buckets of lava in here. Three and four. Just like that, that's full for now, and I have one bucket left over. Um, let me actually see if I can get... Okay, there's a wood casing there. Four chests there, and four sticks. Let's make another storage crate. Is that not how you make it? Okay, um, let me make a storage crate. I need actual wood. Okay, there we go. Small storage crate. I still have my sword here. I eventually want to get a Tinker's sword, but for now this is fine. Um, crate there. Let's see, Abyssal Zombie. Endermen, um, Endermen are sort of dangerous. They do sort of steal blocks. But that seemed to be fine. Um, now there are these loot bags which I can grab the stuff out of and for now I'm just gonna put it away in here. Um, is that everything? There's that as well. And that. Okay, that is everything for now. So I'm just gonna come back every now and then, um, whack these monsters, get their stuff, put them in there, open the loot bags and hopefully get some ender pearls because ender pearls is sort of what is needed a lot of. So I got this one here so we can claim that one. Um, the diamond mesh here, I did actually set this up here to craft so I can do that right now. And that gives us some more RAK. Uh, let's see, mob farm, I am working on that. Cobblestone generator, I need the mob farm to get that I think. What am I actually waiting for, for the factorizer? Factorizer... Let's put that over there. Um, I don't want those. I need redstone. I need iron. I need... Copper. I need a gear. I need a smeltery. That is what I was waiting for. Um, something I did do. I made a part chest. I put stone parts and other bits, parts, all in here. I got some gold. What I want to do is I want to cast out some blocks of said stone, make this smeltery a little bit taller, and then I can smelt more things at once, which is going to be very useful, because at the moment I, I wait for this for ages. Anyway, I'll do that, I'll probably make it like, um, let's see, there's nine here, which means eight high or something, 
so that I can smelt at least a stack at a time. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that and I'll be right back. Something I'm quickly going to do while I work on that is... I did something wrong, didn't I? Um, that is stone. I need to smelt it. Okay. I want to make a bag storage so that I can sort of convert between all these bags and I can get like a lot of the, the little ones because I get ender pearls out of these I think well, well I get friend of pearls um, at 1.3 percent I'm pretty sure ender pearls are there as well I can't see them though um, in this one there's ender pearls though so I may just get uncommon or something but that will give me quite a bit more storage for loot bags and I can just open them whenever I feel like so let's put that down there I do have a skeleton over here and it's in dropper loot bags okay I didn't get it quite eight high but I did set up some automation and it won't take too long I've just got cover being pumped into here that's turning into the said stone fa actually faster than it can be um, pumped out but this is just giving me said stone every now and then and that's just gonna keep going until well it's out of cobble um, so what I want to do I want to get this gold I do actually have an ingot cast okay yeah I already have an ingot cast I want this gold and I'm gonna put each of these parts in and just make a cast for all of them. I probably will never ever use any of them, or most of them, but they're there if I need them and I don't need to stuff around making another gold cast. Um, there are some that I want duplicates of, but I will probably just get to those later. Anyway, uh, gold goes in here. Let's just smelt all that up. Um, said stone, that's leaving that um, let's see, I want a stick and I do have a piece of cobble on me. That will work perfectly fine just so that I can get a lever. So I can turn this off when this is done or I want it to be done. Okay, so it looks like all the gold is in or going in. Yep, that's good. So let's turn this off. So that won't be pumping blocks of gold out if I switch it like this. And then I can just do a bit of that. I can put it down here, cast, make the cast, and then that will just go straight into the chest here. That is very useful. So I have got all of these casts made out here. I'm just going to turn this off for now so that I can put in some iron. Um, I'm just going to do these one at a time just because they do alloy in here. I can put the lead and the tin in and that will be perfectly fine. I just want to cast out ingots, but the copper will cause problems if I put that in. So yeah, that looks perfectly fine. That is exactly what I want. This is making an iron gear. I want to make two iron gears then cast the rest out as ingots so let me line those up so I can do that and just wait for this um, gear to harden up and then I can swap the cast out for the ingot cast and cast out I think it's six ingots so two tin and then four no four tin and two lead and that should be everything that I need to make the factorizer so that is done. Now I just need to wait for the copper to be done. I can grab those out. Uh, copper. So this is enough to make one copper gear. And there we go, done. Let's cast that out. And once it's all cast out, I can turn this back on to finish casting out the rest of the blocks. And there we go. So now all that I need is some glass. I need a crafting table. I do need quite a bit of redstone. So how much do I have? Uh, yeah, that should be enough. 
I just need two of these ingots. Let, let's just make a whole bunch because I will need it. Um, put that in there. One of those with two above it. There we go. Uh, then I need one of these. A device frame. And then I can make a factorizer. Finally. Yay. I have myself a factorizer. I can make blocks. Um, let me put this here. No, I don't, I don't want to do that. So, combine, I can combine iron into that. Which means, um, now that I can do that, I want to just dump in a whole bunch of that. Uh, let's see, I am completely out of said stone, so now that I've done that, I can just quickly convert this, so just put it in the crafting table twice. I can jump up my ladder that I've made here. Uh, grab my wand and go up one, two, three. Okay, so I did set up a few more of these. Um, this is just smelting or casting out a lot quicker, so I've got quite a few iron blocks. And I also have quite a few ingots here. I'm just casting out ingots at the same time just to speed it up because I do have quite a bit of iron in here and that is the rest of my iron. Um, I did actually make myself a crushing table. Um, this is made by an anvil, which I can now make because I have iron blocks, uh, zinc, and slabs just like that. So I made one of those. I also made myself a hammer, which if I can actually get it, I really need to turn that R uh, off thing, R uh, to sort, um, but iron and sticks and that makes this hammer. I can also do the same with, I think I can do stone and also steel, but all I need to do with this is I need to um, unblockify the iron, put it on the table and just hold down right click. There, you can hear it crushing, and then with that, I can make myself a bucket just like this. So I now have um, buckets easily accessible, which means I can come around the back here and fill in the lava whenever I need to, and it doesn't use the bucket, which is a very nice. So with this mob farm, I have been waiting ages for it to spawn an ancient golem. And I have now realized that ancient golems will not spawn in this mob farm. And that is because of the biome that it is located in. This is a Darklands Plains, and I am pretty sure that they, they will only spawn in, I think, vanilla biomes or something like that. So let me collect up all of that. Uh, do I have any loot bags? No, but I did get some and I've been opening. I did also get this patient bag here. Um, this, if I f find what it's used for, a 99.99% chance of getting the same bag out of it, and a 0.01% chance of getting a diamond. So if I sort of just um, do a bit of this, I'll eventually get a block of diamond. But it is so long and tedious that I would need a bag opener to do, which I might eventually set up, but by the time I set it up, I will probably have enough diamonds that I want. Back to this mob farm, what I will need to do is if I come up here, if I look down here, you can see the bio. So at the moment, my base is in a Darklands Plains, and pretty much all this area is Darklands Plains. If I go this way, I get to a forest. Um, same over here. Um, Darkland Plains extends up this, it, this way. And over here, it gets to a forest. Down here, it gets to a swamp. So I don't know, I might end up building out this way quite a bit more just to get a mob farm. I don't know, I'll probably do that between episodes and get this set up and potentially even upgrade it. Okay, so there is one more thing that I want to do and that is get some chests. I need four. 
I also need a bit of iron, so let's unblockify some of that. And I want to make two hoppers. Um, with those hoppers, I'm going to put there and there. I then need to get one of those. So let me just make a new one. So slap down there. Wooden barrel on the side. Or wood on the side to make a wooden barrel. Put that there. Hopper there and chest on top. So what I can do with this, I can grab some of these oak leaves and I can put those in there. That's going to pump into here. That is going to turn into dirt. And there we go, done, and I get myself a piece of dirt. So with this dirt, well, I'm just going to stay away from that a little bit and put it in the ground here. Get a sapling like this. I then need to make a, a, some shears and grow a tree, do a bit of that and I can put some more leaves in there. I can also use the hammer here to hammer the wood and get sawdust which does the exact same thing, it turns into dirt. And yeah, so I can do just a bit of this, I can convert saplings into dirt and that means that I can get a whole bunch of dirt and grass that I can use to spawn mobs on in the next episode which is what I'm planning on doing. That is going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.